Hello everyone, this is Phantom2502, and welcome back to a Let's Play of Satisfactory Update 4. This is episode 21. Episode 20 ended abruptly because I accidentally hit the end record without noticing, but you guys didn't really miss much uh, since I detected that pretty quickly. So pretty much I just took out the two baddies that were around, um, and that's it. You know what, let's get rid of this guy up here. Come on. So this episode we're going to get our second coal node uh, completed uh, using trucks. truck station? Yes, we have enough for that. Okay, where do we put it? There's a nice empty section right here. So let's maybe do it like this. Something like that maybe. Okay, then maybe just a splitter since we can use coal from here to fuel it. So, splitter. Yeah, and then we'll have to come in from there. Something like that, maybe. like level one belt for this. I mean it's not gonna be using too much fuel. Alright. Um power. Right. Yeah we haven't connected everything through power. This gotta go to a production line. And truck stations actually need power. I found that out between episodes. Well, actually, I shouldn't say between episodes. I, this I have to re-record this episode because of sound issues with the last epi with the first recording. So it's actually the second time I'm recording this episode. But I found out during that the truck stations need 20 megawatts. So the cost of setting this up could be 40 megawatts plus um, the fuel costs. Um, it makes me think to make things fair in order to make this really useful. They should really think of adding power somehow uh, to conveyors. I know it's been suggested in the past, but it's all about optimization. It doesn't make sense to have technology you want people to use and not being the optimal way to do things. And people that want to do say, oh, well, it's people's choice, you don't want to force people into a gameplay. Well, you're not. You can still use conveyors. They'd just be less optimal, just like, you know, people that decide to use trucks right now, it's less optimal. The reason why I'm just going the truck route in this one, same with trains, even though conveyors are more efficient, is if you're going to, we're going to want to try to do a, this, a very big mega base, and... There's problems with conveyors in the late game when you have too many of them. Uh, they affect the frame rate a lot more, like insurmountably more um, than anything else. So that's the main problem um, with the belts long term. chasm here. Do not want to fall down there. Alright. 
And have I built the truck yet or not? Oh, it's still a little too long. Alright, we'll put that there. And then connect it up. There we go. So those two will be in the production line. And the thing is, I think I do need transportation. Yeah, a tractor. All right. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Some rotors and modular frames. Looks like that's what I need right now. All right. Yeah, so I, I think they need to add some sort of power now. There's been things like how do you get the power things back up and stuff. Because if so, I, th I think there should be twofold to the power on belts: one, uh, containers or uh, splitters should not uh, count towards uh, any defining belt length item. Uh, two. Uh, Things that are powered on, like, at the start of production, those belts should be powered. Anything that doesn't have any start thing that's powered uh, shouldn't be powered, uh, or moving for that matter. Um, and then the power should only be when there's items actually on a segment. And then I don't know what the power limits are, but I think this should be higher from two, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Level, level, well, eventually level 6. Um, in order to make the beginning game not need that requirement, you can have belt level 1 with no power. And I guess, at that point, if someone wanted to make their entire game with no power, then fine, use, you can still have it available to you, just use belt level 1s everywhere. I mean, although there are certain areas where, you know, you're going to have to use higher level belts because the inputs need it. But that would be, I think, my suggestion there. And then you just have to make the cost, I think. Like, I'd say maybe, like, a level 3 to, like, 500 meters, make that equivalent to this tractor. And then closer than that, make it more efficient to go with the belt route. Uh, let's see, where is the... You know what, I'll just put it in and sort it. And, right, we said we needed rotors, right? We passed them without even taking any. I don't know, something needs to be done, because this game is all about efficiency, and you have these trucks and trains and uh, hovers, uh, and they're not the most efficient things to use. So... It doesn't really take much work to have a belt highway go across the map, cost-wise or time-wise. I've done it, like, my previous game, the entire game was belted, and I had the entire map belted, so... It's only, it only takes, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 hours to set the entire map up, pretty much, with belts and foundations. Okay, so we have this... Here. Right, we're going to need, this is going to be unloading, right, okay, and then the other one's going to be loading, um, right, we don't want to put the truck, tractor here, now, oops, I don't know, I want the access to the workbench. Oh, it's the other way. Okay, um... We have the coal? Hmm, thought I had coal on me. I guess not. Hold on, let's go get some. I didn't pick up any coal. Anyway. Let's put 
some fuel in here. Coal will be your initial fuel. Um, You could have... Uh, solid biofuel, but the thing is we can't really produce that automatically, so... Um, let's see, V... Um, let's start recording a path. Okay, we better pause it here. Alright, that should be enough to create a pause. Come over here. Alright, we're we'll trying to stick to the right and make this like a road. So we don't want to reuse this path to get out of here later. Over here to these trees. recording and try this again. Okay. Yeah, I do not want to come down here. Okay, so... How do you want it done then? Yeah, you need to be over here, I guess. Alright, you know what? Let's just delete it. Um, clear path. Maybe we'll rec start recording over here. Try that again. Good thing it only takes like 20 fuel to get here. Okay, so this is filling up. Um, this one is going to be a load, so we're all good on that. Okay, that's good. Right, let's start recording here then. Of 
it's not gonna work either. Uh, okay. Okay, wait a second, let's get out of here. Um Alright, let's get rid of some of these things. That's in the way. Is there anything else in the way? Or just that? I think it was just that. Alright, let's try this one more time. It'll take a few times, I think, just to get the tractor automation working. Okay. Alright, let's... Do we start recording? Alright. Right, it's not going to unload. That's because we don't have any power to that station yet. Alright, stick to the right side. Let's try this one more time. And we'll connect power to the drop-off spot. At least there's plenty with a hundred cores to get this working on them. that part. I'll try it one more time. Alright. B. Clear path. B. Start recording. Yeah, we'll eventually get this right one of these times. Oh, 
because I think we can maybe edit that mess up out. Potentially. Just take that to the right. second so 12 and a half seconds is the most it will have to wait here so let's do that 12.5 set wait time all right this side's powered the, the other side isn't powered they go through the same route here but we only have one Thing tracking, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's get this running. Oh, there's a baddie. see my truck come back. Well, especially since we're not really running at the moment because we have no power on the other side. But we'll get that fixed up right now. One of the downsides to trucks as well is if, every, if all the power goes out, they can run out of fuel because they're not being fueled at a station. So I think maybe a suggestion for that is if they get to a station that doesn't have enough fuel to fill them up, that it just stops the automation right there until it does. Here's the truck coming back. All right. We did say that we wanted to edit some of these on the way in. There was that little mess up over here. Otherwise, I think that was pretty much perfect.
delete that node. Delete this node. Can we get to the other node straight with a truck? I think so. Hopefully it doesn't hit here, but We'll see how that works next time it comes by. Now let's get this thing powered. So this should get powered to the consumption end of things. So this is a power grid, so we don't want that one. Where is that one? Where is... So that's power. Where's the other one? Okay, I'm confused a little bit. I want to put, set this onto the consuming side of our grid. Oh, I see, it's over here. Alright. Actually, probably going to be all of these, so I might as well set power over here. There we go. Oh, right. And let's set this thing at 12 and a half seconds. Set wait time. Confirm. Alright. I think we're pretty much going to conclude the video. Yeah, we're going to conclude the video here. Uh, thank you, I'm Phantom2502, and uh, thanks for watching. Next time, uh, we're going to get our belt work set up and uh, start our vehicular uh, framework uh, set up. I think I'm going to get, I'll do the uh, belting off screen so that we can just go straight to the vehicular framework uh, stuff. So uh, we could do a bit of it off screen. I'll show you guys the results after. Um, I'm Phantom2502, and see you guys next time.